You know what? I'm just surprised as you are. Moosehead's making some new moves in their small batch series. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello everybody, welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Rooski Brewski review. And today the beer I have for you guys is by the Moosehead Brewery. Um, but this is this is part of their small batch collection. This is their new Irish Red Ale. Boom. I guess a competitor in the Irish Red Market, you know, going up against um, uh, Rickard's Red, Keith's Red, if that's still a thing. Sparkhouse, Crimson, um, the Remembrance Red, and a multitude of other Irish Red Ales. But this is coming in at 4.8% alcohol by volume and actually listed IBUs, 20 IBUs, very, very nice. Uh, looks like it was number eight in the seasonal series. So, well, actually, I didn't even show you the can. It doesn't look like a regular moose head. Red with some sort of like wavy designs on it and then a bunch of information on the back. Pretty darn cool. Let's crack this bad boy open and let's see what we got. Beer 101 pint glass. Oh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, that's a pretty nice color. Can't deny that. Looking at the beer, it is kind of red, but more deep, deep amber, in my opinion. Not like other uh, red ales like Rickers Red or Spark House by Lake of Bays. But say, it's still good effort. Good effort for sure. Nice semi-tanned head on top. Looking pretty. Let's have a smell. Let's not smell my mustache. Let's not smell my mustache. Ooh, toffee, chocolatey, a little bit of nuttiness, caramel. But there is a chocolate note in here, which is pretty cool. Roasted, roasted malt, like uh, or, or or also like toasted toast. That is quite quite pleasant. Chocolatey, somewhat nutty, caramel, toffee. Biscuity, that smells good. Let's have a sip. Whoa. Whoa. Moosehead Small Batch Irish Red. Big flavor. Not really traditional or like what I'm used to as red ale flavors, but pretty damn good. Caramel, toffee, mmm. Really nice toffee, like that quality street toffee, you know the little cans that usually grandmas have like knitting stuff in or whatnot, or in really not what's supposed to be in there, but yeah, the original like toffee bars, very close to that. A little bit of notes of chocolate in there as well, then again, no nuttiness doesn't carry over from the aroma, but still, that is pretty good. I'm actually enjoying this, this is nice and sweet. Cheers everybody, let's keep on drinking. Wow. Caramel, toffee, slight chocolate. Toffee is definitely, mm, it's rich. It's that nice sticky toffee that just ooh, clings to your teeth, which dentists absolutely hate, but hey, it is totally, totally worth it. A little bit of a biscuity background in, the, in the, like a bit biscuit note in the background as well. I sort of just bring the whole beer home. That is, that is fantastic. This is a really amazing beer. Light to medium body, good carbonation or effervescence. That is fan freaking fantastic. Looking on the can, Moosehead Brewery Small Batch Irish Red Ale, 4.8% ABV, 20 IBUs, number eight in the seasonal series. On the back, we do have a description that reads, Celtic myth, has tales of kings being served red ales landed uh, ladled from silver vats. Our Irish red ale is served from a can. But we believe our malt forward brew with caramel and toffee notes is just as fit for royalty. Great description. Great description. Good, uh, good. and then you, you have it in French. Each brew has a story, contains barley, but also you do have flavor and aroma, which is caramel and toffee. And you also have the SRM, or the color of the beer, which this one is sitting at 17, apparently. Fiercely independent, they say. Moosehead Breweries. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. 
Thomas St. John, blah, 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 Union Maid, blah, 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 on the bottom for a canned on date. Yes, we do. Uh, H089. So H, H, H. H being August. August 8th, 2019. Why has it taken this long to get put on the, uh, the LCBO shelf? Wasn't there three weeks ago or four weeks ago? But if this is from August, well, that's a pretty old beer. But still, great flavor. No notes of it going bad. Moving over to the website, moosehead.ca, you go to their small batch section on the beer page, and you find, well, small batch Irish Red Ale. It's the same description as the can uh, style is, a, is an ale, uh, IBU 20, SRM color 17, and ABV 4.8. Is that everything they have to say? No, that is not. So the hops, we have a detailed list of malts and hops, which is pretty cool. Uh, hops are Chinook and East Kent Goldings. Yeast is just yeast. <laughs> malts are Two Row, uh, Mel Mela o o Odin, Mela Odin, Crystal and Roasted Barley and yeah, detailed list of hops and yeast. Yeah, hops. Blah, 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 blah. Detailed list of hops and malts. I'm a fan. I'm on board. I'm totally on board. On them, it shows a map of Canada. I'm guessing that's where it would be available, but I don't see any information there. For overall, pretty sleek looking website. Really, just a great of information uh, compared to other breweries. Wow, that's pretty damn good. Pretty cool. On Untapped, the small batch Irish Red has been given a 3.42 bottle caps out of 5, and that's out of 396 ratings. I'm telling you, I'm a big fan. Though not the same color as most uh, red ales that I've come across, but... Damn, that is... That is up there for red ales. That has just some pristine caramel toffee and slight chocolate flavors with that biscuity backbone. Mmm. I gotta get more of this. Speaking of, if you want to buy this beer, you see it in your local LCBO and you wonder, maybe I want to try a new, a new red ale from, well, Moosehead. $3.10 for this 473ml tall boy can. $3.10? Take my money, I want to enjoy more of this beer. This is damn good stuff. With that said, cheers and the final sip. Let's get ready to train. He's gonna wrap this thing up. Damn. Damn. Moosehead Brewery, small batch, Irish Red. That is uh, that is definitely up there in, in, in some of my top three favorite reds. Wow, this, this kind of blew me away. This has a lot of flavor, really rich, bold, toffee flavor, but not overly sweet. Just the right amount, but it's true. It's true to, to just toffee. Eat. The difference between eating that stick of toffee and drinking this beer and nah, comparing the toffee notes are very, very, well, they're gonna be different, obviously, but pretty damn good. Holy hell. Moosehead, small batch, Irish red. Shit, that's good. Solid nine out of 10. I'm not even complaining anymore. That is, that is, that is delicious. As for the presentation, I do like the uniqueness of the can. Great stuff on here. ABV, IBU, SRM, description, uh, ingredients, no. It says contains barley. There is a canned on date on the bottom. You're listing the flavor and aroma. Perfect. Website looking good as well. Same information as the can, but it does show a detailed list of hops and malts. So that's a matter of bonus information for, for everybody. So that's really, really cool. Good looking website overall. Great looking can. Presentation gets a solid. That's the most information as well. So gets a solid 8.5 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you need all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Maple Bruce Key, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Maple Bruce Key, like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers.
Who knew Moose said was gonna make an Irish red? I had no idea. Da -da -da -dum. Is it pretty heady? It is because that's a lot of foam. Cheers.